Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. The rundown tonight, a story you'll see only on Fox. The family of a young woman shot and killed outside of an after hour nightclub is speaking out for the very first time since her untimely death. Fox 26's Gabby Hart is joining us in studio. And Gabby, you learned some disturbing new details here. Uh, Anthony, I did. Not only was this young woman an innocent bystander caught in the crossfire, her family says the man that's behind bars and charged with shooting her is a family member. She doesn't feel fair that she's gone. 23-year-old Princess Ortega was shot and killed on July 8th. It happened outside of an after-hour club called Karma, located on South Gessner near the West Park Tollway. 17-year-old Jermaine Torres has been arrested and charged with her murder. Her mother and sister, who chose not to show their faces, say their family had just recently met Torres, but he was the half-brother of their cousin, making him a part of the family as well. Because she just wanted them... She just wanted to stop the fight. Her sister tells Fox 26 the night of the shooting, Princess was with Torres and her other cousin, along with a few other young men. They say the men she was with got into an altercation inside of the club with another group of men. That argument spilled outside. My sister had gone out and gotten in the middle trying to stop the fight. And that's when they claim Torres, who was with the group standing behind Princess, opened fire. That my sister was still in the middle when the shots were start, uh, started. Faro tras otro, tras otro. She's saying it wasn't just one shot that he fired, it was one after another, but oh, she got this. hit in the back. Princess, a wife and mother of three young children died in that parking lot. Paramedics also rushed a second victim described as a 29-year-old man to the hospital in critical condition. According to the detectives, there was only shots from his side. So he was the only one shot of firing. Princess's family says it's a harsh reality, knowing that the man accused of this shooting was someone that Princess knew and trusted, and someone who should have been protecting her. And he was sh firing the shots, and he's, he must have seen where she fell. But he didn't even stop. Pero sigue. To you. He, kept, he just kept shooting. When he stopped, he didn't stay and help. He ran. Now that suspect is due in court on Thursday. A judge set his bond at $100,000, but this family says that isn't high enough. They want that bond increased, and they plan to actually protest outside of the courthouse next week. They do have a fundraiser to help the three children that this victim left behind. You can head over to my Facebook or Twitter pages, Gabby Hart News, for more on that. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.